Hey guys, Ru here with Naravid for Blender, and this one I'm gonna be talking about inset bevel. So I'm gonna be using inset cut with hard ups and boolean, and we're gonna try to bevel the corners like this, right? So that's what we wanna achieve. So if I'm gonna grab a cube and you know move it somewhere here, so G and move it here. Um, I'm gonna go to side view orthographic and then I'm gonna draw a cut, preferably with box cutter. Press X three times to enter. Uh, inset mode and you know if I click and apply it uh, then I can recall it with ever scroll and if I'm gonna go to bevel you'll see that it will not work right neither of these there are two um, cuts inside by the way because it's uh, still the solidification is live so you can still adjust solidification of this right now if I'm gonna do it from a get-go so I'm gonna go here and do the same thing X three times and then press bevel B for bevel with hard ups, you'll see that it's gonna bevel the wrong edge, uh, so it will not work the way we want. So the way to do this, right, would be to click on this mesh and recall the cutter, right, once you're happy with the solidification, so let's say you apply the solidification and then you're happy with it, then you go to um, operations, smart apply, and then you grab this cutter to local, and you select these edges in the middle, right, okay, and simply bevel them with control B. Now, in case you wanted to, for example, change these edges or these bevels, you could use stuff like, for example, Mesh Machine. So you could select these, right, and press W to turn off the box cutter. Box cutter sometimes does weird things in edit mode, so make sure you're going to turn it off. And then Y and Refuse, and you can change, for example, tension with pressing T, right? Or you could change uh, width with pressing W. So you could do something like this, for example, right? And then we could copy this with Alt X, holding Shift to all the corners, and boom, right? Bob's your uncle. So there you go. That's how you do it, guys. And on top of this, of course, you can run another bevel. Uh, so you know this will work just fine, uh, no problem, right? There's a bit of a problem here, but the reason for it is that simply the bevel is overshooting because it's too big. So. Let's recall this one, press solidify, and there we go, we're done. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, let's add some weighted normals so it's nice and dandy. Cool. Well, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Give us a like and sub if you did. And, of course, links to hot ups, box cutter, mesh machine, and other add-ons I'm using on a daily basis in the video description. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.